Well, hey there, Maniacs and viewers. you watching the Main Man Channel. It's not just the name's way of life. you got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day making it in this cruel old world. Appreciate y'all watching. Please make sure you check me out on Parlor, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, OogeTube, GunStreamer, GunTube, Gab, uh, Getter. And if you feel called to, check me out on Patreon. I can always use support there. Also, make sure you signed up for that Glock 19 giveaway. Link will be in the description. Description. The link will be in the description, and the link will be in the comments. All right. So, moving right along. The 10 Guns and 10 Days Challenge. And this is the, a new acquirement of mine. I mean, I haven't shot it yet. And uh, I got a decent deal on it, I think. Could have been better. But I did get it used and uh, it actually came with a box. So what it is is a Taurus TCP 380. And uh, that's what it is, Taurus TCP 380. Uh, it's called a little bit different. There's a lot of the other stuff on the side, but it came with a box. But this box here opens this way. Make sure I got the right end open. Nope, that's the wrong end. It opens from either end. And you just pull the firearm out. What was cool about it, I actually had the manual in it. Now, I don't think my model was that little stainless one. My model was the black one. But, yeah. And this is a well-used, and it looks like well-shot, well-carried little firearm. And I mean it is a little firearm. It come in a nice little leather brown holster that they bought for it and it just that holster seems to really fit this thing very well it covers the trigger guard and it just seems to really work very well and is catered to this firearm anyway we'll take a look at him in a minute but take a look at this nice holster it's war in broke in but there's nothing wrong with it and it still does its job so that's pretty cool nice little leather holster and now this is really really a pocket gun it's real it's more of a mouse gun in my opinion because i think your pocket guns can be a little bit carry i carry the bigger pocket guns you know i like the uh you know the mp shield 9 plus uh i carry it you know every day but uh i've also carried a taurus millennium g2 not the g2c but the millennium g2 which is the same size as the G2C and the G3C. I carried that thing in the pocket for years. And yeah, it makes you look like you got something big in your pocket, but it was doable. It was actually possible. When you're a big guy like me and you got relaxed fit jeans and you got big pockets. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this thing. It is very small in my hand. Let's see if I can't get a hold of that. Yep. And I can only get really two fingers. I might get just a little bit of the nub of that third finger, but half the time my finger goes down here. But I can get my nub on there. Uh, I'm saying this little joker is going to be pretty daggum snappy with 380. It's got a little bit of short barrel on it. Yeah. All right. And it comes with a six round magazine. Yeah, it says PT738. Uh, caliber 380 ACP. That's the full bottle number on it. And uh, of course it's made in Brazil. What it says on this magazine. And it's got the Taurus logo on it. Now it did come with an extra magazine. And it come with a Metgar Taurus but it says MGPT May and Matt Gore, PT 738 380. Okay. One thing that's disappointed about this magazine that came with it, and I didn't realize it until after I got down the road, they ain't no way in hell that magazine's going in there. But the factory magazine fits just fine. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I should contact Matt Gore on this. I don't know. But, you know, I doubt they do anything, but it might be worth it. But yeah, and if you'll notice, 
this one here is quite a bit wider than the other one. So maybe they messed up and made this magazine specs of a 9mm or maybe it just won't work in it. But I will have to find me another factory magazine cause, or two if I'm actually going to carry this. I don't know if I'm going to ever carry it or what I'm going to do with it. What I know is I needed something that would shoot 380 on the channel. And most of you 380s are a small pocket gun. So that's what we got. I almost won a, uh, a Smith & Wesson bodyguard in 380 in a uh, auction. But I missed it because you can get those for 320 on Gun Prime right now. And the auction went up above 320 and I figured for a used one. I'm not going to do that. So they had another 380 on the auction, and it was this one. So, yeah, I won this one. And like I say, I'm not going to say exactly what I get for this one, but uh, it, I think I did okay. I think I did okay on it. But anyway, this thing has been well carried. You can see some rust right there on the slide release, slide lock. Uh, it says black stainless on it. It's got the Taurus logos. This is one of their older pistols. It's not one of their newer ones. These things have been around for a while. Uh, these things were out before the Taurus Spectrum. And I absolutely do not like the Taurus Spectrum. I do not. Uh, a lot of folks do. But... I got two buddies who's got gun channels. They love their Taurus Spectrum, but they both had to send them back to Taurus. And Taurus doesn't have the most responsive uh, customer service that there is. But they uh, they did get their issues fixed and got them where they, they were reliable enough to carry and everything. It just took a while. All right, now this bad boy is not striker fired. It's internal hammer fired, okay? And I don't know if it'll fire without the magazine or not, but it's caught, so let's see. No. It will. All right. It seems to not have a bad trigger on it. <coughs> Let me get another set of cup. Sorry, folks. Now, it seems to not have a bad trigger on it. What it seems is, is I mean, since it's so small, if you had to shoot it without the magazine, you're only getting really, I'm really only getting one finger and part of the other finger on there. So this thing's going to be snappy anyway. So it's got to have a pretty good trigger, or you're not going to be able to hit the broad side of a barn with it. But what's the trigger? You got a little take up right there. But the trigger, it's not heavy. You gotta take your time with it. It's about right there before it breaks. But it's not heavy. And it seems like you could keep it steady and keep it on target. Now the sights on it, I guess you'd call them sights. Well, we might put a dot of white paint right there. But uh, I think that's what they call sights. Alright, this is made just to be a close-up, you know, uh, self-defense pistol. And in actuality, folks, most of your self-defense shootings happen in the size of like a phone booth or, uh, or like a bus stop. You know, the bus stop, it's boxed in around the one bench. They happen in those kind of areas anyway so it would probably get the job done but the main reason I bought this thing is I needed something to shoot some 380 because luckily it's been a long time but I got some ammo coming to the channel I got some ammo coming to the channel from a certain ammo company and they said, hey, do you need any 380? And I realized I had bid on this. And I was like, 
Yeah, I can use some 380. Well, we'll throw some 380 in there with your 9 millimeter. I said, thank you. Anyways, so I need something to shoot 380. We need to do something penetration test with 380. Most of you 380s, they're, uh, you know, they're uh, small little pocket guns, short barrels anyway. So it'll be a good realistic test, you know, for ballistics and stuff with this ammo and penetration and accuracy and all that good stuff. And so, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. But I just got to wait on that ammo to get here. It should be here sometime this week. So uh, we'll be doing a video on it just as soon as we can. And I will actually be doing a detailed tabletop review on this thing. This was just for the uh, 10 Guns and 10 Days Challenge. I wanted to tell the story behind it a little bit. Uh, I'll probably refer you to this video if you want to know the backstory on it about where I got it and everything and in that video I'll really get into the specs and we'll check the trigger pull and uh, all that good stuff you know the weights and all that but uh, we'll get into detail on the tabletop review a lot I know I went we're gonna make this video about 12 minutes but uh, it is what it is but I don't think that's a bad trigger too much for that thing and uh, unfortunate about this mag but this mag seems to work, the factory mag, seems to work just fine in there. I don't know what's up with this one. It's pretty, but it don't work. But it comes with this nice little pocket holster too, which is pretty cool. And uh, seems to be a well carried by somebody. And we'll see if she actually fires. And... Uh, We'll do a good tabletop review on her. We'll do a good first shots video with her. And then we'll do some penetration testing with it. But anyway, folks, I want to thank y'all for watching the Main Man Channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. you watching the Main Man Channel. It's not just names, way of life. you got to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Each and every day, just making it a cool old world. Appreciate y'all watching. Please make sure you check me out on Parlor, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Oostube, Gunstreamer, Guntube, Gab, Getter. Uh, if you feel called to, check me out on Patreon. I can always use the help there, especially since YouTube's messing with me. And also, folks, make sure you sign up for Glock 19 Giveaway. Glock 19 Giveaway links will be in the description. And uh, links will be in the comments. And, yep, I like Tauruses, folks. Even if they're used. But this has been the Taurus Tens and 10 Days Challenge. Thank y'all. I'll catch you next time.